Which is the best breed for personal protection that fits your specific needs as an individual or family? Here are the pros and cons for the top four breeds. Accordingly, this article doubles as a time saver and a headache prevention to help those whose needs best match another breed besides that of a Doberman Pinscher. That is to say, different breeds offer different levels of protection, making it important to assess your needs and choose a breed that will provide the level of protection that you desire. Consequently, in this blog post, we'll discuss the top four breeds that are best suited for personal protection, as well as their individual characteristics and traits. By the end of this article, you'll have a better understanding of which is the best personal protection dog breed for your specific needs. My name is Amy Arthur. I breed, train, and sell purebred Doberman Pinscher puppies for service or protection work and as excellent quality family pets. Our dogs are personality tested and certified under Tackleberry Solutions and recommended for specific tasks depending upon their individual score results. To begin with, an excellent personal protection dog should possess a few specific traits to ensure that they are effective and a good companion. For this reason, the best personal protection dog breed should be intelligent, loyal, obedient, protective, and have an intimidating presence. Furthermore, a strong sense of territoriality is also essential in order for a dog to alert their owner of any potential danger. In conjunction, it is also vital that they have a good disposition and willingness to please their owner. For this reason, the physical traits of the best breed for personal protection include size, strength, and endurance. Critically, the right breed should be able to handle stressful situations without panicking and be physically capable of responding to any threat. First and foremost, I wanted to add an important note that you need to consider is the breed's intelligence level. While personality also plays a major role, I couldn't stress enough how critical it is for a dog's ability to differentiate between the subtle gradations of play, training, and real life scenarios, not to mention knowing when it should react aggressively and when it shouldn't. Furthermore, I would caution you to read until the end of this article before making your final decision on a breed, and I will also explain to you what has caused me in my own research to ultimately decide to go with a Doberman Pinscher instead of any of these other excellent breeds. To start, I wanted to list the Belgian first on my list because they're a favorite for a vast majority of personal protection trainers, and for good reason. So what was the Belgian originally bred for? This is a quote from the AKC that they stated about the history of the breed. So mouths have long been acknowledged as a peerless livestock herder in their native land. They were first bred by serious dog people who were primarily concerned with producing dogs of sterling working character and who spurned passing fads and fancies of pet owners. This emphasis on performance made the Mal the go-to dog for Belgian sheepherders and cattlemen. So why is the Belgian used as a protection dog? So another quote from Tactical Police Canine Training, World War II introduced this breed to military use, mainly hired as border patrol, cart haulers, and message runners. This was just the beginning. Throughout the following decades, the Belgian gained further popularity in the working fields. It was introduced to the United States around 1911, with five Belgian herding dogs being employed as police canines by the New York City Police Department. Pros and cons. Pros. Very intelligent, hardworking, hardy, high prey drive, extremely protective, frequently used by professionals, doesn't drool. Cons. Not suited for first-time owners. Not recommended for families with small children. Likely to cause trouble if not given enough exercise and mental stimulation. Has been known to become over-aggressive. Not originally bred for personal protection. And they have heavy to moderate shedding. 
So the conclusion here is all things considered, despite these drawbacks, the Belgian is still widely considered to be the best personal protection dog breed due to its loyalty and intelligence. Furthermore, if you can handle their special requirements, this breed can make a wonderful and dedicated guardian. Moving on to the German Shepherd. What was the German Shepherd originally bred for? This is also a quote from the AKC. At the turn of the 20th century, when Vaughn began to standardize Germany's many flavors of herding dogs, the craze for identifiable breeds was cresting. But for centuries before, the prevailing philosophy had been simply, beauty is as beauty does. A good sheepdog was a good sheepdog no matter how it looked. Still, local and regional styles of dogs did intrinsically develop, and Vaughn harnessed them to make the traits he wanted in what he considered the ultimate German herder. What caused people to use the German Shepherd for personal protection? In short, German Shepherds make excellent personal protection dogs due to their natural protective instinct and courage. Furthermore, they are highly observant and will bark to alert their owners to any potential danger, not to mention they are incredibly loyal and form strong bonds with their owners. When it comes to training, German Shepherds are very intelligent and excel at tasks that involve physical and mental stimulation. With proper obedience training, German Shepherds can be taught the commands needed for effective personal protection. Pros. Highly intelligent, hardworking, hardy, which is like they can handle weather really well, protective, frequently used by professionals, they have a strong bite force, they're large and muscular, they're great family pets, they don't drool. Cons. Heavy shedding, not originally bred for personal protection, and then they have been known to bark when bored. To wrap it up, the German Shepherd has been known by many as the best breed for personal protection. That is, of course, if you're prepared to handle an excess amount of fur. When it comes to training, German Shepherds are incredibly intelligent and excel at tasks that involve physical and mental stimulation. The Giant Schnauzer What was the Giant Schnauzer originally bred for? Again, I'm going to quote the AKC. The Giant Schnauzer was bred to be protective starting with his very beginnings in Germany's B Bavarian Alps in the mid-10th century. In fact, all Schnauzers had their origin in the neighboring kingdoms where there were agricultural sections where the raising of sheep, cattle, and other livestock have been a major occupation for years. Although these dogs were developed to drive cattle from farm to market, German farmers also used them to guard the farms that they lived on. So why was the giant schnauzer used for personal protection? The guarding is in its genes. Historically, it has been used for a variety of functions. Their ancestors herded cattle, guarded brewers, hauled carts, and also served as a police dog. They bond quickly with families, but they can be destructive if they do not have enough activity. Their powerful and compact build makes them very intimidating, but their extreme family loyalty makes them excellent guard dogs. This was a quote from... An article, Why Are Giant Schnauzers Good Guard Dogs? And I can leave the link reference in the description. Pros and cons. Highly intelligent, this is pros. Highly intelligent, loyal, fast, hardworking, specifically bred to be protective, hypoallergenic fur, very playful. Cons, some grooming required. Makes a mess when drinking water, not recommended for homes with multiple pets. They need structure. They can become destructive if not given enough stimulation and exercise. They were originally bred to protect property, not people. So altogether, anyone that I've ever spoken with who own a giant schnauzer have been irrevocably in love with the breed. There is a connection there and a sense of friendship, which is obviously very cherished. So if you're willing to handle their stubborn nature and grooming needs, this very easily could be the best breed for your personal protection for you. So what was the Doberman Pinscher originally bred for? 
Not surprisingly, as they made their rounds, tax collectors worried about their personal safety. They were not only at risk of blows from angry constituents who disputed their assessments or just plain didn't want to hand over any part of their income, but they were also attempting targets for criminals all too eager to separate them from their hard-won tithes. Surveying the dogs in his pound, Doberman selected the strongest, steeliest, and most intelligent to help with his tax collecting. The importance of an unflappable temperament for this perilous work could not be overstated. This was another quote from the AKC with the Doberman Pinscher history. So why was the Doberman Pinscher used for personal protection? As can be seen, the history of the Doberman clearly explains why it is used as a personal protection canine. As far as I'm aware, it is the only breed in the world that was specifically bred for personal protection. That is to say, the other guard dog breeds were designed to protect property, not people. So pros, highly intelligent, extremely loving, loyal, fast, hardworking, specifically bred to protect people, easy fur maintenance, very playful, they don't drool. Cons, they're sensitive to weather conditions. They don't do good as outside pets. They require lots of love, so they don't do well if you just put them in the backyard and forget about them. They are meant to be near people, so they are happier when they are with people. Again, they are bred to protect people, not property. So while they will protect their territory, their focus is going to be their family. Some experience needed with training, and they can become destructive if not given enough stimulation and exercise. So obviously this is my favorite breed, so I've saved it for last so as not to diminish the value of any of the others. To be honest, I was torn between a Doberman and a German Shepherd when I was originally searching for the best breed for personal protection. What really sold me on the Doberman was their easy fur care. I have owned a German Shepherd before, and I seriously could have made a blanket with all the fur that my wonderful canine left everywhere, no matter how often I brushed her. So as a final point, all things considered, do you think my findings were an accurate portrayal of each breed? Which one is your favorite? If you think that I've missed something or overstated a point, leave a comment and share your thoughts.